Hey everybody, it's ED.Gamer coming at you with another video. As you know, I just bought the Microsoft Surface Pro 8, and again, I cannot express how simply elated I was to have some Thunderbolt ports on this device. I hooked up my eGPU and we got some good quality gaming, but I wanted to see exactly what the performance difference would be if I used the internal display with the eGPU versus an external display plugged into the back of it. So I fired up the TimeSpy demo and I decided to run the test on average settings and see what kind of numbers I would get and see if any other surprises popped up. The test ran pretty smoothly and we'll just fast forward the video as you can see to try to get to the meat and potatoes of the video. So when everything was said and done, I received a 7730 score with 8462 for the graphics score and 5189 for the CPU score. This score was about 62% better than all of the results on Futuremark's website and notes a gaming PC to be at about 9216 while a gaming laptop at 5730. Other data was showing that Graphics Test 1 scored about 55.79 frames per second on average while Graphics Test 2 slower at 48.03 FPS. The CPU test alone was 17.44. Now, when you plug an external monitor into the back of the eGPU itself, you have a little bit more of a benefit. You're not using the Thunderbolt cable to send both data out to the GPU and then back into the PC for displaying on the internal screen. So usually when using an eGPU with an external display, the graphics rendering is better. So I fired up the demo again on the external display. When I was originally trying to set this up, I had both the surface display on and the external display on. And even though I would put the window in the external display and try to run the benchmark, it seemed to want to render on the Surface internal display only. So I closed the lid of the laptop by putting the keyboard against the screen, which shut the screen off and forced the demo to run on the external display. So this is where it gets interesting. I ended up getting only a slightly higher score at 7736. But the GPU score went up significantly at 9897, but the CPU score went down to 3459. Now, this is where I can use the help from you guys. I feel that whatever happened here was likely a result of the Windows power settings when the keyboard was folded up into the unit. Well, either that or some thermal throttling, but in all honesty, I let the device cool down for a while before I ran the test on the external display. I remember that when I had my Surface Book 2, there were a couple of different power functions that were not visible by default, and they required a registry edit in order to get them to show. And this result was repeated two subsequent times by running the demo again in the same fashion. So to go side by side and summarize, the score on the left is the surface with the eGPU and the external monitor, while the score on the right is using the internal display. As you can see, the 3D Mark score went up only a little bit totally but the graphics score had a 17% increase by using the external display, but in the same respect had a 50% decrease in the CPU score, which again I think is likely due to the Windows settings when the keyboard lid was closed. So hopefully this information was helpful for you guys. I did also want you to know that I downloaded the latest NVIDIA drivers for this test. So that concludes this video guys. Do you think that the numbers were what you expected? Please leave a comment below if you have an idea about the CPU score dropping when the keyboard was folded up. Let me know what you think, and if you like this video, give it a like. Follow me on social media, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and others. Until next time everybody, peace. <music>